Europeans are made to believe that bioenergy supply their cities, you know, is coming from real renewable, sustainable, and real profitable sources. These are all erroneous. We see that there is a clear link between our demand for green energy in Europe and hardships faced by farmers and charcoal producers in Liberia. And that is unacceptable. Buchanan Renewables is a uh, company that produces biomass uh, from old rubber trees in Liberia. It is a company that portrays itself to be a very sustainable company because on the one hand it says it contributes to uh, renewable energy by producing biomass and on the other hand it states that it contributes to the sustainable development of Liberia as a whole. Well, we held a meeting with uh, a number of the farmers that, uh, that work with uh, Buchanan Renewables um, and we found that there's actually quite a lot of problems uh, that they are facing uh, because of the activities of the company. The farmers were paid a lot less than they had initially expected. A number of farmers did not get paid at all. If you look at farms removed in the two about 9,700 trees, at the face value with the five dollar a BR he had gone for that, that will amount to about forty-eight thousand United States dollars. And you found BR just paying about three thousand for that farm. In some other cases, we found that the company had chopped down all the rubber trees, uh, but had not produced biomass from it and just left the trees on the farm to rot. That's five thousand rubber trees, six thousand rubber trees, four thousand, one hundred, seven hundred. All the robot trees are left on the ground and they are left to rot. BRE had never paid for those robot trees. BRE had never gone back to replant those farms. These farmers told us that they now live in poverty, that they have difficulty sending their children to school and overall difficulties protecting their own livelihoods. And they say this is a direct consequence of their engagement with the company. Seven, 700. So the all 700 cut down, cut down. And still lying here, yeah, still. And looking at your, at your, 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 your property being, you know, damaged or destroyed like this, is painful. It's painful. Buchanan Renewables also plays a role in the charcoal industry of Liberia. They make use of the same rubber wood that is used to produce charcoal, which is a, uh, a major source of fuel for cooking and for heating for a lot of Liberians. And that charcoal has become a lot more expensive over the last few years. Um, this has caused many problems for charcoal producers, but also for the population of Monrovia, the capital in Liberia. And we believe that Buchanan Renewables, as a responsible company, has a responsibility to mitigate these grave negative effects that this price increase has. At the same time, the company has promised to build a power plant which it would fuel with the biomass from these same rubber trees. This site is where uh, Bikena Renewable Energy should have constructed a 25 megawatts power plant. You can see that BRA has abandoned this place. You see it's growing up in grass. About a year ago they came and they had the equipment set to the air and it created a lot of publicity that they were going to proceed with the construction. If you went to Monrovia, you see the billboards. It's all on the billboards, lighting up Monrovia, lighting up Monrovia. The construction has been delayed. We visited the site in June 2011, uh, and they had not even started building it yet. As a consequence, the population of Monrovia continues to be dependent on that same charcoal, which has now become much more expensive. The company has, on paper at least, its headquarters based in Amsterdam, in the Netherlands. It has no economic activities in the Netherlands, uh, but the entity does play a group financing role. Uh, we also see that the corporate structure then leads to Luxembourg, which is uh, known to be a tax haven. So we see that there is a clear risk that once the company becomes profitable, it can use its corporate structure to lessen the tax that it pays in Liberia. What we recommend the company to do is to address uh, the specific demands uh, of the smallholder farmers. They want BRE to pay full compensation for all the trees that were removed from their farms. They want BRE to replant all the farms as promised. They want BRE to step up maintenance of the farms and to make sure 
that they apply the highest level of technology so that the farms can be productive. And to review its corporate structure, to design it in a way that is more in line with its public image as a sustainable company. We recommend that uh, this case be used as an example to critically review both the tax regime of the Netherlands for multinational companies as well as the overall renewable energy policy of Europe which is not always as sustainable as it's made out to be.